Hello everyone. This video will explain about the new manpower request module at PT Gang Rajapaksi on the Darwinbox application. But before that, you need to know what Darwinbox is. Darwinbox is the new GRP HRIS system that replaces HRMS. Darwinbox is a human resource management platform trusted by more than 500 global companies, including MAP, Kopi Kenningen, Tacopedia, and many more. Why did GRP switch to Darwinbox? There are many advantages that Darwinbox has that HRMS does not have now. The advantages possessed by Darwinbox can help all employees to access personnel data easily. Another advantage is that Darwinbox digitizes manual work more efficiently. Then, business processes and systems owned by Darwinbox have been integrated. Furthermore, the system used by Darwinbox is employee self-service. And most importantly, Darwinbox can be accessed anytime and anywhere. Now we will show you how to use the labor request module in a Darwinbox application. However, before using it, there are several definitions used as terms in Darwinbox that you need to know. The first is MPP or manpower planning or the number of budgeted workers. Second, there is the designation or the name of the employee's position. In Darwinbox, the designation for new manpower requests is requisition. Then there is the term RFOC in Darwinbox, which means it is a proposal to change the new organizational structure. In a request for new workers or requisitions, those who can carry out the requests are called hiring managers. Meanwhile, there are other roles that participate in carrying out requests for new workers, namely L1 manager or direct superior of the hiring manager, then HRBP or HR representative manager at the operation, talent acquisition or the department that carries out the recruitment process. And finally, there is organization development or employees who make the organizational structure. Next, there is a business process for manpower requests or requisitions. There are several stages of the PTK, or requisition process. The PTK will be submitted by the hiring manager. Then several approvals are needed from HRBP, L1 manager, or direct superior from the hiring manager, and final approval from talent acquisition. Manpower requests or requisitions can be submitted by the hiring manager or managerial level and above. By logging into the Darwinbox application, employees need to log in using their employee ID and password. Then, after entering the Darwinbox main page, select the Recruitment menu and continued with the Requisition menu. After that, click Raise Requisition to increase the demand for labor. A requisition form will appear that needs to be filled out by the hiring manager, especially for the mandatory fields. Starting from the basic details such as the name of the department, designation, or the position you are looking for. Then proceed to fill in experience rings, hiring leads and additional information related to the responsibilities and skills of the candidate. Then fill in how many candidates you want to search for. Then, fill in the location and reporting manager. If a replacement, it is mandatory to enter the name of the employee to be replaced. Hiring managers are also required to fill in the type of employment, such as a contract or probation. After that, the hiring manager will be directed to fill in other details, which contains information related to education, technical skills, certifications that have been followed by the candidate, as well as industry background. Fill it, if any. 
and if not, fill in with a dash. Then click Next to continue, and Submit to continue the process. The next stage will be carried out by HRBP. HRBP will receive a notification that can be seen in the task box menu. Then, requisition approval. HRBP will check PTK data based on manpower planning, organizational structure, and current employee data. If the PTK status is a budgeted or there is no box in the organizational structure, HRBP will reject the existing requisition submission and will initiate the RFOC requests for organization changes. However, if the status is budgeted, then HRBP will do the approval. After HRBP has approved, the next process is that the L1 manager will receive a notification to validate the PTK data. Which can be seen in the task box menu. Then, requisition approval. L1 manager can click view details to view and confirm the PTK data before doing approval. After completing the PTK data validation, L1 Manager can choose Reject or Approve Submission. If it has been approved by L1 Manager, Talent Acquisition will receive a task to verify the final PTK data. which can be seen in the task box menu. Then, requisition approval. TA also needs to see details of the PTK data by clicking View Details to confirm the PTK data to be verified. After completing the PTK data verification, TA will accept the assignment and continue with the recruitment process. As previously explained, if the PTK is budgeted or does not have a box, HRBP must reject the PTK and then submit an RFOC. Before you see how to apply for an RFOC, you need to know in advance what an RFOC or a request for organization changes. The submission of RFOC is a submission made by the manager with the approval of HRBP to make changes to the organizational structure of the department. Then there is the business process of RFOC. RFOC is initiated by HRBP and continued by hiring manager to upload a new organization chart file and job description. Then, files uploaded by hiring manager need to be validated by director. Files that have been validated by the director then need to be verified, validated, and finalized by an OD specialist. HRBP submits an RFOC by logging into the main Darwin Box page and then clicking View Profile. Select the Profile menu and select Workflow. Then click Add Request to submit it. HRBP will initiate RFOC on behalf of employees who will apply for PTK. Then the initiator form will appear. HRBP is required to fill in whether the position sought already exists or is new. Then HRBP is also required to enter the name of the position and the name of the department. After that, click the Submit button. After HRBP submits an RFOC on behalf, the next task will move to the hiring manager. 
hiring manager will be tasked with uploading draft organizational structure and new job description files. Hiring managers can view their task by clicking the task box menu. Then, business event approval. Then, click the act button. Hiring manager can view details of the RFOC form that has been initiated by HRBP by clicking view details. To complete the task, the hiring manager must upload a draft organizational structure and job description for the new position by clicking the eye icon. If you have finished uploading the document, the hiring manager can continue the process with a RFOC request. The next step will be carried out by the director. The director will receive the task of validating the data uploaded by the hiring manager. Director can view tasks in the task box menu. Then, business event approval. Then, click the act button. Director can also view details of form RFOC by clicking view details, and also can view files that have been uploaded by hiring manager by clicking the eye icon on the hiring manager row. Director can download the files that have been uploaded by the hiring manager by clicking the download icon. Or can view uploaded files directly by clicking on the existing file name. After completing the validation, the director can choose to reject or approve RFOC. If the director has approved the application for RFOC, the next stage will be carried out by organization development. OD will verify, validate, finalize, and update master data on Darwin Box. If the entire RFOC process is complete, the hiring manager will regenerate the PTK on Darwin Box. That's the explanation I can give. Thank you for your attention.